ECG, known as electrocardiogram, is a representation of the electrical activity that is happening inside our heart. So in one of my previous video, we used AD8232 ECG sensor with Arduino to measure the electrical activity in our body and we generated a graph that is representation of voltage. So this is AD8232 ECG sensor that was interfaced with Arduino in one of my previous video. So I described all about the pins and representation and then we just placed electrodes on the body of one of my friends and then we connected it to the serial plotter and once the serial plotter was connected we observed the ECG signal waveform on the screen itself so this is a low cost ECG module so now in today's video we will use ESP32 and generate an ECG signal using AD8232 sensor and then we will connect the electrode to hand or simply on the body like in the previous video and when the waveform will be generated we will use an online platform called UBDARTS where we will upload the sensor data like the data from the ECG as you can see here the ECG signal is directly uploaded to internet so you can monitor the ECG data from any part of the world using IoT device so let's begin so this is a low cost AD8232 ECG sensor that is connected to ESP32 ground is connected to ground 3B3 of ESP32 is connected to 3B3 of AD8232 VP is the output pin LO plus is D2 and LO minus is D3 now this is how the electrode placement is done we have three different leads uh, the placement of electrode was already explained in the previous video you can see if you want so from here you can see I have done exactly the same connection from ESP32 all the five pins that is ground 3B3 output LO minus and LO plus all of these are connected to my hand so we have red electrode blue electrode and yellow electrode all should be placed in a triangular shape like we placed in the heart this won't give the appropriate signal but I am making this video just for a demonstration purpose if you want to measure the good signal then you can place in your body so let's go to the coding now so we have two header file that is wifi.h and pops up client and then to upload it to internet we need four parameters that is wifi ssid password token from ub dots and then mqtt client name so wifi ssid and password is your phone local id or uh, the wifi that you are using at your home it's better if you use your phone wifi so now let's go to the ub dots so just go to this website so this is the first link and then just create an account if you haven't created an account or simply sign in if you have an account so i'll make an account very quickly you can make whatever uh, data it asking so give the app name and then insert a password and just simply click to create so this is how you can create the account so you can go to the account okay so you can see how the data are represented here in numerical value in graphical value in on off button form or everything simply you be that see such a great platform for everything okay now i will go to the my dashboard as my account is already old so you can see 20 days trial is left for me okay and you can get 30 days trial if you are a new user now click on device and then when you click on device you need to add one of your device so currently you can see no devices are there so you need to create a device 
so from this list click on blank device and name this as ESP32 don't name any other thing if you name you have to make a changes in code so I'll explain it later so a new device is created and there is no last activity as nothing is sent or received now just when you click here you will get an option to add variable so you will get raw and synthetic just click on raw and then rename this new variable rename it as sensor if you rename it any other thing then you need to make a changes in your code so now you can see uh, there is a description tab where you can add the description you want so the device is created and its parameter is also created now we need to go to the dashboard and create a graph graphical representation I mean so click on add a new widget so you can click plus sign to create so here you can see there are so many widgets so from here I will select the line chart only so click on plus add variable so add ESP32 that was created earlier and then click on sensor so done so leave everything blank except the appearance name rename it as ECG monitoring or ECG sensor or whatever you want to do so I will rename it as ECG monitoring then click on green tick so you are done with the data currently no data is found as we haven't updated anything like that okay sir from here you have so many options to edit download share or whatever modification you want to make now let's go to the program again so here you can see ESP32 the device name which was created earlier that is why I ask you to rename the same thing if and here you can see it's written as sensor so you can see on the left side it's a sensor so if you want to rename any other thing you need to make changes in the code too or changes in the UB that's account API label now go to the dashboard itself so still there is no activity so now make changes in Wi-Fi SSID and password we need token for that go to your ID and click on API credentials now here click here to show so this is my token now copy it now go back to the program make a copy paste here so my token is the same and uh, also change your SSID and password MQTT cloud name can be anything you can name anything whatever you like it should be between 8 to 12 characters now connect the ESP32 with ad 8232 and connect it on your hand or in your chest now select the device ok so ESP32 development module upload speed should be lesser than 115200 and leave everything as default ok so once you connect the device to the computer it will detect the port so my port is COM5 now simply upload the data to the ESP32 press on boot button while uploading if you want press sometimes the data might not get uploaded so once the serial monitor is clicked so it's waiting for the Wi-Fi so once the Wi-Fi is connected it has generated IP address and it started publishing the data to Ubidus cloud so now go to the Ubidus account refresh it so now you can see there is a blue map this means the device is online and the last activity was few seconds ago click on the same device and then here you can see that there is changes in data since I haven't placed the electrode on my chest I am not getting accurate data also remove your charger from your laptop so that there is no disturbance in the noise use only DC value from the USB port of your computer so go to the dashboard again 
and then on the dashboard you can see a representation of online graph so I'll make maximize it so even after the interval of every one or two seconds the data will be up to date so you can change the frequency timing so this was all about the video so thank you for watching if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and support me i need your support to make my channel grow and subscribe my channel and like this video thank you for watching